Good. Oh. I'm great. I'm great. Yeah. Don't come on the street. Nothing is working. Okay. This has been my last half an hour. Half an hour? <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> Just nothing works. Did you know, if you take a break from streaming in general for like more than a month, nothing works when you come back. That looks amazing. Chuck, what are you, what are you holding there? Is... That is... Non-sponsored, by the way. Yep. Brony's Grand Reserve Vienna Lager. Uh, and it is amazing. I mean, it's a lager, but go off, I guess. <laughs> it's not as good as the Grand Reserve Bock, which is what I had not last night, the night before. Um, the one that just, like, reignited a flame in me about mm. here. This is nearly as good. I love that. Nearly as good. I was admiring it because it's gorgeous. It's, it's it's real pretty. The uh the light coming through from the window behind you. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a vibe. Mm. Uh, how are you Tol? How are you doing Tol? I am good. Um, that's good. Yeah, being busy. Yeah. Got my two, my, got myself two additional certifications in the downtime. Awesome. So, uh, AWS That's productive man. Yeah, very good. Congratulations. That's awesome to hear. Thank and uh, how, how are you doing, Raven? I exist without my consent. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> if that ain't, if that ain't the biggest mood, I don't know, I don't know what is. Uh, that's phenomenal. And I understand. <laughs> Well, welcome back, guys. I'm very excited to be here. Um, I am definitely not... Uh, what's the word? Stalling for time so I can pull up my notes and stuff so I remember what the hell I'm doing. Um, I've also had, what, three or four weeks to plan how to derail this? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, I look, okay. derail things right. automatically without needing to plan. That's what's so wonderful about me. Who needs to plan when it just happens? That's fair. That is, <laughs> that is fair. Um, okay. So, are we ready to jump in? I think we just jump in. How about that? Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something a little bit different for our first Not session back. Me. Just a little, this is a little bit different. Uh, so... To, to, to steal a phrase from the glass cannon, because I love those guys. Uh, we're going to jump into the imagination copter. <laughs> and uh -oh. yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> um, so we're going to just going to just going to just going to narrate a scene for you guys. Um, so we start off with a complete like a complete black kind of screen i guess you could say and we fade through a golden light we see a severely angled face of a red skinned creature uh thick black twirled goatee and if people can stop messaging me i would actually have my notes thick black twirled goatee and eyebrows uh quite quite stark angled eyebrows um wearing a rich black headdress he speaks in a deep severe booming voice it seems to echo and uh, has an orisian accent speaking to someone shrouded in darkness make sure you find him as soon as possible he is instrumental in moving forward a quieter voice strained with tension replies 
Yes, yes, my master, I will, I will see it done, I will see it done. I apologise that our agents haven't made much progress in, in retrieving him. When we hear that first voice again, uh, we get a rolling shot of what looks like the inside of a sandstone tomb. Do not give me any more excuses. We, we see some dust rattle off the wall from the sheer volume of the voice. I have already awakened this one. If he realises what he is before he is found, he will be lost to us. There's a pause of silence as we hear a drop of liquid splash onto stone and we get a shot from over the shoulder of a kneeling man and we see another drop of blood drip down from his ear into his like unkempt jawline and splash onto the floor. Be gone, the voice booms after a moment of quiet. Do not fail me again, or I ensure you it will be your last. Uh, we get a few sc- random, like, scattered shots of the man stumbling, racing through sandstone corridors lit by torchlight, um, Frank frantically trying to wipe the blood from himself, and um, the next shot we see is he stumbles and smears, like, a, a handprint down the wall, and uh, you see that there is, like, there's there's handprints sort of along along the wall here. He seems to be very uh very off balance. And uh we see a staircase leading up and at the top is is light, so like a, a blinding bright light. And as we emerge from the tomb into the blinding light we get that flash of, of like a golden sunlight which sort of fades and as his eyes adjust, he looks down over a sprawling desert metropolis, all white stone, colourful roofs, towering obelisks, and a single colossal glossy black husk of a beetle, polished to a sheen by the windswept sand, and shakes his head as if he's trying to clear out a buzzing noise, something. He makes his way down a nearby dilapidated staircase, into the city below. Solomon, you wake up and you've got a headache. As if someone was just spending hours yelling into your ear. Breakfast time? Breakfast time. I mean, of course, right? Wacky. Just to remind you all, uh, as of our last episode, our last session, um, you had clear out, cleared out the sanatorium that had been a, a couple episodes previous. You then mm-hmm. made your way to Hambly Farm that was infested with undead. Killed most of them. Were unable to save one person and were just able to save another, a young boy. Um, on the way back, you were accosted, we will say, by two men, both in red and gold trimmed robes, with a, uh, like a six-pointed star emblazoned on there, like, uh, like on their breast. Um, one of them did get away. The other is currently sitting in a cell in Sandpoint's jail. As far as I know. As far as you know. <laughs> um, so you head downstairs, and everything uh, seems normal. S- splitting headache. Uh, you probably slept a little longer than you intended to. Is Seth there yet? Uh, yeah, Saf, Saf is, is sitting at the bar. Okay. I'm gonna go up and... Saf, you've got to stop thinking about me so much. You're giving me a headache. I mean, you know, your ears burn when people talk about you, but obviously you're really thinking about me. Stop! My head hurts. Uh... <laughs> wow. Um, you just, you get a very, very confused, like... Look, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, I, I, sorry. Right. 
I'm going to slide the things that I brought with me downstairs for her uh, to identify okay. yeah. over to her. Okay. And I'm getting... Uh, I don't... I'm going to ask Amiko. Well, what, yeah. what'll help? What'll help? Uh, Amiko yes, sort of... Uh, a headache. What'll help a headache? And she's sort uh, of... Uh, well, you didn't drink too much last night, did you? No, I think it's Seth freaked out and, and ran away, and I think she's been all night thinking about me. I'm gonna give Seth an evil glance and say she's given me a headache with all I, the the burning ears. I I now remember what you're talking about. I had completely forgotten about that. Uh, <laughs> good to thank you for that. Um, Amiko is like, huh? Well, just sort of leans over and sort of mutters something under her breath and just sort of taps you on the shoulder. And your headache does fade. Uh, it's still sort of like way, way in the back of your... So it's, it's sort of like from, from like back here, one of those like tension headache kind of thing, but not. it's very, very dull and quite, um, quite manageable. Yeah. Uh, hopefully hopefully that helps. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, that feels better. Good to know. Uh, the usual for what's, breakfast? What's for breakfast? Uh, something a little bit heartier. I think I'm going to sit here on. Oh, and by any chance, do you have a, a barrel about this big of anything pickled? Uh, I, I do. Why? Can I, uh... That's that's a that's a lot of it's pickled onions. I have a barrel of pickled onions, a cask of pickled onions. Who needs that many pickled onions? Foreign likes onions. <laughs> Shut not riding behind Sullivan. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll not, does Voren in fact answer, like onion? Like... Does 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 Voren in fact like pickled onions? No. No. <laughs> Why <are> you lie? <laughs> so she sort of leans in, just gives you the look, and just like, mm. I think you may forget. I've known Voren a lot longer than you have, Solo. I will give you this oh, sure. barrel of pickled onions, but I better get a damn good story out of this. Uh, I'm hoping that you'll just get a barrel of pickled onions back, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, I'll have someone leave it. I'll ha just knock on the back door when you're ready. I'll, I'll, I'll have someone hand it off to you. Solomon, right. you vet me. That before I... And it's <laughs> not normal that someone can do that. She just sort of like, just gives you a look. Just, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> uh, so you do get served. Not Sorry. Far. Go ahead. Sol Solomon definitely spent some time last night thinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. Um, God, I forget what happened. Yeah. I, I, I forgot what happened as well until just before. <laughs> I have to deal with that now. <sighs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um... That's a lot. So, you you have a quite hearty breakfast. I can't think of a meal off the top of my head that you would have full English breakfast. We'll call it a full English full English breakfast. We'll go with that. The Ashwood special. <laughs> and like. uh, yeah, so not an issue. And yeah, so what do you do with your with your day? Um, Saf is is sitting there, and uh, I'm assuming Toshi probably shows up at some point. Food? Uh, Toshi is in the church currently, watching the kiddo. That's true. Still sleeping peacefully. You've been there all night. Okay. Well, well uh, Solomon would have his breakfast, get his barrel of pickled onions, mm -hmm. take them with him. Yep. Uh, if Saf managed to identify the things that he brought down with cool. him from so, a while ago, about, about how about you? How about you tell me 
what what sap is identifying for you. I will let you know what they are. Punch him. <laughs> tell them oh, it, it right. was everything yeah. that the guy was carrying. Everything um, that so the guy I, I was carrying. Which guy? <laughs> the, the, the dude who I knocked out and put in the prison Right, cell. right. Okay. Um... All right. He stripped his robe off. Cool. Yes. I think he carried a wand and some three stars. Uh, he was not carrying a wand, however. Uh, I did write it. So that's not good. Um, okay, so I don't remember what I gave you. So we're gonna say it was six plus one shurikens. Um a masterworked karma A A M A and um the robe is just a robe, wasn't a lot else. Um I am also going to say Roll me a D10 and a D100. Uh, okay. Um, D10 plus 5. D10 plus 5. So That's okay, I'll just eight. add 8 to that. Yep. Uh, and D100? Yeah. Cool. So uh, uh, you, you also did find 18 platinum pieces. And one hundred oh. and uh, ten gold pieces on the dude as well, the dude, the guy. So yeah, uh, ten gold pieces. Ten gold, said. eighteen platinum. Uh, sorry, thirteen platinum. <laughs> ah, right. Yes. Uh, so right, that's yes. three on eight. Awesome. Okay, and it's off to Varen, who I presume I'm. I'm going to go and get Varen and see if we're going to the prison cell for him to interrogate his prisoner. Him to interrogate his prisoner, of course, because uh, definitely after Varen. Cool. Yep. Uh, you guys also do know that Toshi is at yeah. the chapel as well. Uh, I mm -hmm. don't know if we... Um, but did actually deal with that or not i can't remember it's been at least a month and a half so uh we are going to go it? with a hey? what day is it uh, uh, i have no idea uh i am going to take this moment to thank lucia crest for raiding with a party of five thank you so much um hello everybody okay. Jump in. We, we're just coming back from a from a break, so bear with us. We're going to scrape the rust off and we're going to power through. Thank you so much. And I don't know if my shout outs are working. That's amazing. What, uh, what were you playing? I think they were playing a game of some kind. A game of some kind? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if my shout outs are working or not. There we go. They are. I, I usually have a pop up and everything, but it's not working. So, sorry. Thank you so much for Gestalt Homebrew Campaign. Uh, I'm going to need as many details as possible about that because hey, that's. Adam, can we go so Gestalt? Cool. No. No. You, I don't need you to go Gestalt. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me play more kineticist monk. Kineticist monk? Uh, no thanks. I'd rather I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sounds really really cool, and I would love to talk more about that. Um, in the Discord, if you would like to jump in there, and we can chat more about Gestalt because I love it. Um, in any Adam, case, yeah, loves we'll playing it. I love Doesn't playing love it. running I will not for run it. it. No. <laughs> Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of, I'm that kind of guy. Love playing it. I cannot, I can't keep it straight in my head to run it. Um, thank so you for the means follow, we get all, Puss and Pie. All new templates, Puss right? Yep. Puss. All templates. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> 
so where was I? Ah, right, yes. Um, so yeah, so you know that Toshi is in the chapel. Um, I'm not sure if we sorted that last session or not. Um, however, if you would like Definitely. to collect them, then that is totally fine. Uh, so, uh, Vorin, is your door unlocked? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Solomon, do you knock? I am. <laughs> I am in the forge breaking down all the surgical tools that we took yep. from the sanatorium. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Pretty high-grade steel, too. So. Cool. If I heard a single hammer strike, yeah, I'd be exactly. like, nah, Vorin... Or won't even come to the door. He's open the door. Yeah. No, that's fair. Um yeah, so you head in and you know where the for you know where his forge is. Um so you head straight there. And uh yeah. You're probably not super uh on track at the moment, Voron. It's it's pretty it's kind of grunt work, so you do notice Solomon come in very, very quickly. Cool. Morning, lad. Good morning. So, you're going to go chat to the guy who uh, attacked us on the road home last night? Yes. Presuming um, he's, he, he was sent by the master or whoever that was who your attacked the farming hut. Yeah, that, I, that guy. It doesn't seem related to me, Solomon. There's a point what? missing. It's like a literal point on the star missing. Well, let's go ask him. I mean, you, you, you've got him. Ask him why he's missing a star. Maybe he's lower ranked. Maybe you only get seven points when you're at the right rank or something. Okay. Let's let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. So yeah. So you head you you head out. Um. And up to the up to the barracks. Uh. There is a flurry of activity. Uh. From. At, at the front door, there are two guards posted, and mm -hmm. um, where there usually isn't, and not outside at least. Uh. You are stopped as you approach the door, and um, one of the one of the sort of veteran guards says, "Father Warren, state your business." Um, we are here to speak with the person that we brought in late yesterday afternoon, slash early evening, who attacked us on the way. That may be difficult, to say the least. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be easy. You should probably see for yourself. And he Thank you. gestures you inside. Mm -hmm. um, so you head in and um, there's no one in the sort of... Uh, sort of entry hall kind of thing. Um, but you head downstairs and to towards the uh, the cell where you left him, and uh, there are another two guards outside his cell, two guards inside his cell, and the and and like the the town surgeon. Do uh, I see the two bodyguards I hired? Yes, yes. Uh, they are standing sort of at the end of the corridor. Um, yeah. One of them is kind of really, really worse for wear. He's got, he's got, he's got a split eye, uh, swollen shut, just was bleeding until recently, blood all the way down his face and soak, soaking into, like, his armor. Um, and the other one seems to be not as, not as rough but uh yeah still definitely gigantic black eye and looks like he's missing a tooth i'm just gonna glance at them and i'll deal with him after i'm gonna mm -hmm. follow Varen into the cell yep um would you uh before i go into the cell i'm going to ask one of the guards on the outside yep. to explain the situation to me please uh the guards sort <laughs> of look over at the the mercenaries that Solomon hired 
and says, uh, well, I assume that uh, the hired help aren't incredibly familiar with guarding cells. Usually you don't lean on the bars with weapons attached to your belt. Um, as near as we can tell, and from what they've what we've been told, the prisoner grabbed one of the knives off off one of their belts and swiftly cut his own tongue off. Just his tongue? Just his tongue. Pretty hard to talk with that. Tongue. Necro back. <laughs> you get a you get you get like a uh, no, no, tongues usually don't grow back. Uh, not for humans, anyway. And we assume that he's human. He looks human enough. Um, yeah. It's maybe silly. <laughs> I missed what you said, Barry. Say it again. I said looks can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> Is the guy alive in there? What's what's the surgeon up to? Yeah, no, he's he's alive. Um, he's. The surgeon has sort of like clamped, not like clamped his jaw open, but like levered, levered his jaw open and is currently in the process of cauterizing the stump of his tongue. Mm. There's not much you can do other than that. Um. <laughs> I guess you could say that he's really stumped you guys yeah. just talking. Yeah. Mm. Is his tongue on the ground? Um, no, it is not, in fact. I bet he ate it. Could have. Who knows? Um, so no head? Well, ouch. <laughs> that hurts. I forgot what playing with you was like. <laughs> yeah. We should really do this stalt. It'll be uh, fun. No. I refuse. I refuse. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so... Not sure you're going to be getting any answers without a regenerate spell. Or telepathy. Yeah. Oh yeah, telepathy would be interesting. Hmm. Mm. Um. Warren? Not Warren. Fuck. Wow. That's you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Warren. Ah, uh, Warren. Wow. Warren, you travel with a bunch of idiots. Solomon. <laughs> We're not going to get any, anything from him now. Uh, we might as well just let him go. Um, I'm going to look at one of the guards and I'm going to be like, I assume you guys are going to hang him for the raid on the farm. Uh, as far as we're There's... aware, that was undead and we, we were assuming that you had sorted that out already. We have sorted that oh. out. Um, there's no concrete proof that he's connected in any way. Solomon, you can't just in... hang somebody without proof of... Okay, what's yeah. what's the punishment for trying to attack us on the road? That's... Uh, that's uh... Attempted murder. <sighs> we, we, I was going to say it, it is, it is it, uh, We usually classify that as banditry. And the punishment for banditry, depending on where you're from, varies. Uh, here, for your first offence, it's two fingers. Uh, for your second offence, it's a hand. For your third offence, it's a hanging. It's the first known <laughs> offence. And the guy's lost a tongue. We, we kind of consider the tongue uh, debt paid and then and he can rot in a cell until he's healed. Seems fair to oh, okay. I'm going to go down and chat to the two guards, that are, the two mercenaries that are hired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just going to walk up. Um, they're not real bright. <laughs> I'll, I'll let Varen say his thing. That's fair. No, no, that was just me. That wasn't Varen. That was me okay. saying, are you going to tell them that they're not real bright? Varen wouldn't nope. do that. I was just going to walk up, open my barrel of pickled onions, give them each an onion, 
close my barrel, and walk away. That's it. They're, they're just each holding like a pickled onion. Like, like it's not even like a, it's not like a whole pickled onion because like you, you slice it up into like and then you break it up and then you, it's just like a handful of pickled onions. <laughs> just yeah, uh... then it would be a handful of pickled onions, and that's it. And they're just holding onto a handful of pickled onions. Yep. This is how you play pranks. I Everybody had... confused, don't abuse. <laughs> <laughs> just a handful of pickled onions each. L- amazing. So good. I had different plans. I had different plans for this barrel. Um, I guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see the uh, the captain of the guard if I can. Uh, the captain of the guard is in fact one of the ones that is standing guard outside the cell. And he was one of the sheriff. sheriff. Well, one of one of one of the captains. There's, I think, there's like two or three. Uh, when he's finished healing, mm-hmm. and sorry. When he's finished being seen to by the surgeon, uh, I'll take him off your hands. Just let me know. Uh, um, he, he, is, he is free to go. Uh, when he is healed, he is free to go. Um, so if, if you would like me to let you know when he is free to go, I can do that. Uh, if you'd let me know just before he of is course, free to go, I'll kind of make sure I'm... Yeah. Of course, I, I can do that. Uh, may I just leave a message with Amiko at the Rusty Dragon? Uh, I want to make sure I'm here. Um, uh, I don't want him to walk away without having a word with me <laughs> for, uh, pardon the pun kind of thing. Uh, yeah. So, whatever's fine, just, uh, if you wouldn't let him go until I've come to collect him. I will do my best. You... However, if he is here for months, then I will be letting him go. I'll keep him for a week. Uh, I'll keep him for at least a couple weeks. I would assume you were kicking him out today. No, no. Once he's healed. Okay. It's being cauterized. It will take some time to heal. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yes. What are you planning, Solomon? Yeah, what are you planning, Solomon? What are you doing? (laughs) It's a genuine well, question yeah. from Warren. What are you doing? I, I, he's he's lucky he's alive. Well, um, uh, he said to us yesterday when we caught him that he would be lucky if he was alive in the morning. And sorry, maybe we I just should interject him? there. What he said was, if he even had a tongue to speak with in the morning. Yeah. Oh, is that what he said? That's what he said. <laughs> well, Varen, sorry, not Varen. I'm Solomon. He's Varen. Um, Solomon, <laughs> Solomon totally heard it as someone's going to kill me during the night. So, um, the bodyguard. Yeah, Solomon's yeah, yeah. sticking with his story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it, I thought he was going to get killed overnight, which is why I got the two bodyguards for him. I feel somewhat responsible, so... Uh, since he's not able to talk for himself anymore, I will help him make some better choices before seeing him on his way. What's your alignment? Uh, neutral, neutral. Uh, it's going to remain neutral. neutral, neutral. Oh, that's... It may not. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It might go good neutral. Yeah. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately not a lot of information you're going to get from him, uh, for the moment. Um, there may be, there may be ways that you could organize that a little later on. Um, sure. But. Do we want to go get Toshi and go talk to Seth since, uh, Seth's got his equipment and she recognized his, uh, his cloak last night. Uh, she knows what sect he belongs to. Of uh... yeah, I'm just I'm gonna let I'm gonna let uh, uh, let Saf talk to you about that because it's weird. She says sect of Solomon, but uh, cool. yeah. Um, Sorry. Let's go get I Toshi and talk. Breaking to you, uh... things everywhere, guys. Good job. Okay. Sorry. 
I don't know what's going on. You keep breaking if I break it first. Okay. I keep swapping. Oh my god. Bear with me. I'm having so many trouble. So much trouble actually remembering how to stream. Um. <laughs> okay, I think I you fixed can... it. Yes. Looks like I fixed it, yeah. Okay. So. Um. You were going to find Toshi? Yep. Cool. Sorry. You're great. I'm very, very concerned about what you plan to do with this guy, but yeah, we'll go and we'll go and see. It'll hit me fine. <laughs> I don't know. I'm that not in fact. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not, fine. An evil oh. I'm not an evil person. You know me. I'm a trader. I don't True. trade in people, just to mention that, but uh, it's not in my best interest to kill them or harm them. But to put them to work. People do also have a tendency to change in stressful situations or act out of character. So, Are you saying I'm stressed or him? I'm saying it would be unhealthy if you weren't stressed. For one, ah. considering everything we have just been through. Stress would be a normal reaction, especially considering your age. This is this is a pretty normal week hanging out with you, though, Voron. This is the second time you've got us attacked. And both of you have just frozen on my screen. <laughs> was it both of us? Solomon, with Solomon face totally was it, was it both time? of us just... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Solomon totally believes this is on you. It's this has got nothing you, to do with Solomon. He's out there helping you clear out a a monster infested farm because of some guy in your you history. Do realize that Saf said sect of Solomon, right? Not sect of Voron, sect of Solomon. Yes. But, What's before... that got to do with... <laughs> That's coincidence. That's just my name. <laughs> before you came along, I did not know anyone else in my vast travels by the name of Solomon. Did you travel? Never eat soggy wheat picks. East. <laughs> Which way is? What? Uh, so no, you, 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 you travelled travel from, travel from, yes. from the east. You travelled from east of here. Yes. From east of here is that where you travelled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you travel east of here? I mean, did you ever go to... I you're, started you're dwarf, east of here. I haven't travelled west. <laughs> you're a dwarf. You lived in the mountains. I'm from the plains, the Ashwood Plains. It's, it's common enough. Let's go to Toshi. It's Solomon's going to start walking. Toad, she's literally going to go like, what happened? I've broken Adam. <laughs> I'm breaking Adam. Uh, I'll just... Wow. Hang along. Yeah, so, so you, you, you yes. head to the chapel. Teenagers, man. Yeah. Teenagers scare. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's like the best, best one of them the other day. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Absolute, and I could not share it with you. Rude. Yeah. Because it would be spoilers for so much. <laughs> Still might. And the greater Cosmere, yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Uh, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, so you head to the chapel and you are greeted by, uh, Father Xantus, who, uh, as you walk in, uh, nods to you, Solomon, and then says to, uh, you, Voren, ah, Father Voren, how are you today? I'm well, and yourself? I'm very well. Uh, I assume you are here to collect your, um, problem. Companion. Ah, yes, companion. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are a little bit of a problem, not gonna lie. 
I'm a little shit. There's a difference. Yeah. Uh, cause problems on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Father Xanta says uh, they are, and gestures towards um, one of the back rooms, they are in the back. Uh, knock on the door. I'm sure they will let you in. And how is the child doing? Um, well, enough. Uh, it's not a ghoul? No. No. Um, it's a child. This afternoon, I will be able to remove that disease. However, um, we did stave off the imminent death of the child. And hopefully... And therefore the transformation. Yes, exactly. Y'all would have heard a gunshot if that kid was a ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, just poof, from down the hallway. Toshi gets sick of waiting. <laughs> um, Toshi, you hear a knock on the door. Heavy, heavy set knock. Is that you, Vorin? Hi. Okay. You hear the click of a hammer going back on a flitlock, or going, um, returning to uncocked position, and the door opening. Uh, you see a very mm-hmm. sleep-derived Toshi and a very comfortably mm-hmm. resting uh, young male child like, lying on the ground, um, on, the, on, the, on like a stone table. You needn't be so paranoid, and you need rest. Go on. Go Come on, Toshi. get a drink and go to sleep, please. <laughs> Have you had anything yeah. to eat yet? Food is probably a good idea as well. I have had some. Crack open yes. my barrel and I'm going to give her a handful I of buttons. I don't believe you. Just a handful of pickled Make buttons. an insight check, I guess? Not an insight. Sense motive? Yeah, sense motive check. And uh, roll me a secret of check. Please, Toshi. Bluff or persuasion. Not uh, persuasion. Diplomacy. Are, are you lying? <laughs> Either Am one. I? Are you? Well, you will know. I don't know. So yeah, either whatever, uh, either diplomacy or bluff, whichever is uh, appropriate, and just roll it uh, like a secret roll. Yeah. And yeah, uh, and roll A, or Solomon, whoever was wanting to. Um, yeah. Sense motive. What's this for? Uh, seeing, if, seeing if Toshi is telling the truth or not about... Um, yeah. Eating. Yeah, seems to. Yeah, it's probably probably ate something. Um, probably ate like I don't know a piece of bread or something at least. Has definitely rations. Eaten. Rations maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Has definitely eaten some kind of nutritious meal. Probably. Okay. Eat more. Eat, Eat more. more. <laughs> Have drink. Drink water. Drink and water. Beer. Drink beer. Both yeah. at the same time. Double fist it. No. Nope. Nope. Did Toshi take the hand from the And onions? get some sleep. Why do you think I was paranoid? Did you know, weird random fact, that 18 hours without sleep is about, I think, I hope, and now I'm completely talking out of my ass because I don't remember the numbers. <laughs> um, I think it's something like the equivalent of, of like a, a 0.8 blood alcohol level. Okay. It's like, it's, Speaking it's from a lot, experience, right? yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, okay. what are you guys doing? The kid is resting peacefully. Uh, Father Xantos has said that he will be able to remove the disease later in the afternoon. Toshi is probably going to fight you on getting some sleep and eating some food. Let's be honest; they okay. cause problems on purpose. <laughs> I'm going to turn to Bar and be like, "What are we doing?" You're meant to be taking Toshi to Saf, not sending her away to sleep. Why are we taking Toshi to Saf? So that we can find out about the people who attacked you. <laughs> I'm we can talk to Saf problem. without Toshi. <laughs> but Toshi's got a right to be there. I mean, I mean Toshi, you sleep at he the end. He also which has a right to sleep and eat and look after herself. And I'm okay, she, just a little she, bit sure that that takes priority right now. 
Yeah, but is Seth's at the Seth's at the, uh, the, the, the 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 inn um, with Amiko and and so forth. So we can take Toshi. We can feed Toshi right there. And when she's finished hearing Saf, or if she doesn't want to hear Saf, she can go upstairs and go to bed. But we're all going to the Rusty Dragon now, right? Yes, Solomon. Cool. Go on. Let's go. Is Solomon? Solomon. I'm just going to gesture for Solomon to lead the way. Solomon, I'm offering Toshi and chose confusion. <laughs> Solomon cast Confuse Ray, it is super effective. <laughs> and, I, I hope you realize, for it, you're the one who calls me a problem. I have not done such a thing. I have. <laughs> I have never once. No, Boren, Boren has, has once never once oh, complained about any of the party. Out loud. <laughs> Out loud. To their Probably. base. Out loud. <laughs> All yeah, behind their back, to probably. be fair. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, on the way out, I'm going to duck into the shrine to Tarag and yep. say a quick prayer and mm-hmm. um, give thanks um, again. The, one, one of the most devout dwarves in town is actually there. What's his name? Hey, if I have to come up with names on the spot, so do you. He has a name. He just goes by bro. Hey. Gorgon. 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 G-O-R-G-A-N. G-O-R-G-A-N. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Um, as you, as you walk in, Gorgon, uh, looks up and just sort of gives you a solemn, a solemn nod says, Father Varen, it's good to see you. You as well. I hope you've been keeping well. As well as can be expected. And yourself. Running time is what we get through, yes. One thing we dwarves can do is endure, if nothing else. If nothing else, we endure as the stone in the wind. I... Pleased to see you here, using using our little gift from the others. <laughs> it's uh, it's nice to have a piece of home, piece of the mountains here, and the it it is carved mostly out of stone, um, most of it hand carved. And a lot of it done by the dwarves of your congregation. And a lot of it done by you as well, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the rest of the chapel set aside this space for you was not something that was expected. We'll never go unappreciated. There's a small, uh, almost like a, a wry smile as uh, Gorgon stands and sort of, like, like not, not quite a bow, but like a, a, like a half bow, like a nod and the shoulders dip a little and says, uh, I will see you, I will see you, I will see you later. And, uh, yeah. Not just a... Nod in return. No response, like verbal response. Yeah. Um, if the forge isn't lit, it is. Well, it, there's there's it. em- it's it's there's embers. Um, hmm. like hot light. hot I'll embers. Like they bur- like coals have only just started to burn down. Like there was a fire I'll not long ago. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Stoke it up a bit. Um, and summon Son if I can. Yeah. To with me. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, he uh, rises up, sort of out of the out of the stone next to you. Cool. 
because there is because he can he move through worked stone did we believe yeah oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah just no he can't. out of the yes, he... He... yes he can no he can't I'm sure he could who knows i'm pretty sure i'm just pretty sure i he think could. i think we i think he can yeah um, I think that's you, a fifth edition you, thing. You guys broke this out last time. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think we did. Um, that was however long ago, though. Yeah, it was like nearly a month and a half ago. Um, so yeah, he rises up out of the stone next to you, and um, sort of, you hear like a, a grating, sort of rock on rock sound as he sort of turns and looks, and in that deep, deeper voice than is expected from such a tiny being. Um, Says, Not so tiny, he's <laughs> as tall as me. Oh, nearly fair. as tall that's as fair. me. He, is he, is he a small or a medium? Uh, small, small, but he's four foot. Four. Four. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, stands next to you yeah, and uh, looks around and says, <laughs> of course. I'm going to just um, rub my forefinger and thumb in some ash. And touch his head and draw uh, Tarek's holy symbol on his forehead. And uh, say, so while I may be a devout follower, devout follower of Torag, I've always felt more of a connection to the earth and stone around me. Um, I want to connect you with my faith. I was speaking in Terran, obviously. Yep. Yep. Um, connect you with my faith and have us both move forward through any and all struggles we come across together. Um, are there any sort of words for, for lack of a better description are there any words that a that someone being baptized into this faith usually says that's me asking you not son asking you no thinking yeah i don't think so don't think so um okay in in which case um son nods again and says I don't know much about faith in general. However, I am open to learning, and I will stand by your side. Side. Then I will stand by yours, and I will have unwavering faith in all that you are and all that you can be, my friend. You could swear you just saw a rock grin. And a rock without a mouth. A rock Grin. without a mouth, Grin, you could swear. Um and Son replies, and I you, my friend. I'd best catch up with the others. Say you best. I'm going to stay a while. Please listen to what? The chapel of Torag has to tell you. There are many stories in these stones. There are. And with there that, he sort of lead. melds back into the ground. You see a slight sort of, uh, like not like a not like a bubble, but like a a, a ready sort of sheen as he mm. as as you do see Zon move along the ground and then up the wall. And, uh, I'll you, smile to myself and yeah. leave. Yeah. And you very quickly catch up with Toshi and Solomon. They're probably um, only a few minutes down the street. <laughs> probably bickering the entire way, I'm sure of it. I wouldn't hustle. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can see them, they're just down there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. They go into the tavern, yeah. so I'll get there when they get there. Yeah. Or when I get there. Either way. <laughs> Um, so. so you head back to the Rusty Dragon, make your way in. Uh, it's probably about, it's probably only mid-morning by, by now. Um, 
What are you guys doing? Uh. Uh, there is a there is a look of momentary panic and confusion from Saf as they uh, look over their shoulder. Yes, I'm here. Still, slight concern uh, on their on, on their face. We're uh, ready to hear from you about uh, Drobe, this. Uh, sect that you were talking about last night before you so quickly ran away. Mm -hmm. They uh, gave me a headache, by the way, which is still in the back of my head. Uh, if you cursed, if you cursed I, him, could you at least curse I, him so that he would be a little bit more quiet? I didn't curse anybody. I don't know that spell yet. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Have 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 none of you have heard of the sect of Solomon? Uh, what role would that be? Uh, knowledge, planes, or religion? Uh, and it's they're both a five. Quite difficult. Uh, can I make it with a twenty-five? Uh, if I can, after see how you go. No. Yeah, no, you've never heard of it. Um, in fact, this Saiyan's one. Yeah. Huh? Uh. Seems. The name seems. Varisian, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's not Chilaxian, and it's not Varisian. Syrian, sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. Know how to pronounce that word? I wish that I hadn't chosen that. Verisian? Or Orisian. Basically Orisian. Egyptian in Pathfinder yeah. world. <laughs> yeah, I know which yeah. one you're talking about. Yeah. Cool. Um, you think maybe sort of if from that area of the world, mm -hmm. um, but you're not 100% sure. Maybe. Maybe from that area. Um, Wonderful. Uh, Saf is very tight-lipped right now, and is... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sorry? Because... As Toshi, you go? Why? You were saying something and I interrupted you. Oh, I was saying it sounded Orisian. Um, Saf does sort of nod. Saf, you seem really nervous. Yeah. Can I try and talk Saf down using diplomacy? You can try. Wow! How how do you fail spectacularly at this? Very excited. First things first, I'm gonna offer Seth, uh, Seth some onions. Some pickled onions, of course. And you <laughs> see visible recoil. And sort of a hand go up. No, no, thank you. I'm I'm okay. Seeing, seeing this, I, I can tell that Saf's got something weird with me, right? Uh, Romy sense motive. Well, I'm something I'm good at. Yeah, right. A natural one. Yes, <laughs> Saf is one hundred percent weird with you specifically. Uh. Okay. With a natural 20 and a 32, you are 90% sure it's because of what they didn't say last night. You're not 100% sure what it is they didn't say, but it's something about you. And you feel that Solomon. they feel that it's not their place to speak about it. Hmm. And they are very nervous as to what your reaction will be. friends, right, Saf? Uh, you know, I, I give you a little bit of grief, but we're friends. This sounds yes. interesting. Where's Amiko? Uh, Amiko <laughs> is very pointedly staying okay. away from you guys. With your, with, your, with your sense motive, it's pretty easy to tell that she is just 
waiting for this train wreck to be over. <laughs> oh, God. You obviously know something. And I you're obviously know wrong. a lot of things, Solomon. Same here. Yep. Ev- no, everyone, something. everyone, ed- <laughs> this is kind of the first time they've ever spoken over you. Uh, or over anyone. Uh, everyone knows a lot of things about a lot of things. It just, it just, just depends on what things that they know things about. And if that has to do with anything at all. Saf, you're acting awfully weird and that's coming from me. It's okay, lad. You can tell us anything. Oh god, hi, Vorin. <laughs> Is there anything that Solomon knows oh, of, man. like, jerky that's really chewy? Uh, like you, you got to sit there and really work on it. Yeah, probably, Toshi. probably like smoked meats or jerky is probably the closest thing you can think of. Toshi takes a bite out of one of the pickled onions. <laughs> <laughs> just reaches it. It's not even a full. It's not even a no, full onion. It's like it's gave, sliced onion, just a whole handful. He gave me one or some. Yeah, just a yeah, handful. I've been, I've been pestering Toshi with pickled onions the oh entire walk God. back. Just add to your inventory gonna... a cask of pickled onions, please. Because Amiko okay. is not gonna want that back. <laughs> yep. I am gonna I'm gonna order from Amiko if I can some some smoked meat that and I'm you know, I'm gonna ask her for the, the, the gristly stuff that you gotta chew and work your way through. God. Solomon, what are you planning on doing? Toshi takes another, like, a quarter of an onion and mm-hmm. eats it. Yeah, yeah. Well, once that arrives, like and, and I'm gonna get to... forever now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing this towards Saf until she yeah. starts chewing on some, so that she won't be talking unless she wants to be rude and talk with her mouth full. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Saf. definitely takes, takes the opportunity to not have to, to talk. To, to not have to talk. <laughs> You're going to be like, yep. Saf, we're friends. You know something. It's really bothering you. I know I've given you some grief, but I'm pretty harmless. Even though, <laughs> you know, I'm like a giant. Pretty harmless. I promise I'm not going to take it badly. Think you're mistaken about something? I... Let's get it out I... on the table. Let's, let's talk about it, because we're friends, right? Uh... Saf is looking very cornered and looks at Varen and Toshi for help. <laughs> Toshi is right now gonna... face down on the bar, just... <sighs> oh, I'm gonna push... I'm gonna push the smoked meat towards Varen. Um... I'm going to take a piece of smoked meat, look at Saf, and sort of just nod my head towards the door, and we will both walk outside. Yeah, and ah! Saf just gets up and leaves. <laughs> Toshi takes some of the meat and just nibbles on it. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh, as you sort of step out the door, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I cornered her. Yeah. She couldn't say anything. I yeah. had my group with me uh-huh. to apply, apply peer pressure. Amazing. <laughs> peer pressure is bad. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Uh, you were saying it as we got to the, as, as, we get to the as you sort of step out the door and sort of head out of sight of anyone in the Rusty Dragon. Um, Sass sort of stops, and there's just this look of pure panic on their face. And come with me. I want to show you something. Uh, this is very important, and it may explain. Just, it can. It can wait. Come and see this first. Okay. So I want to lead Saf to like a little sort of alleyway, mm-hmm. hidey hole yeah. that I would have found in town where I can be alone. Easy. And sit him down and be like, all right, we're in a safe space now. Mm-hmm. Now you can dump him. Right. We can talk. Um, well, I'm not sure it's my place. And. Um, Solomon definitely doesn't know. Solomon has no idea 
what he truly is. He's pretty clueless about a lot of things. Yes, yes. Um, For anyone watching, Solomon is only 16. Yeah, Solomon is 16 years old. And Solomon is a kid. An absolute giant. First adventure. Uh, so, Seth um, just quietly starts to speak and says, um, the sect of Solomon comes from an ancient, ancient uh, jinn or genie, if you mm. so, if you are so inclined. Um, I don't know much about the jinn itself. Um, however, stories do speak about it awakening something in its bloodline. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what a Suli is? Yep. That's no. what I was thinking. <laughs> no? Well, no. Suli is, is like... Okay, so you know how some magic users are like the descendant of dragons or angels, stuff like that? Yeah. A Suli no. is a descendant of a djinn. Okay. Solomon's a Suli. Okay. Solomon does not know that Solomon is a Suli. And the sect of Solomon is most likely after him. Murder him or worship him? Or kidnap him? (laughs) Both. All three. Mostly, probably kidnap. Murder him or worship him? That's great. (laughs) Fantastic, right? Uh, look, kidnap him. I, after that, I, I don't know. It's, mm, what do I do? Do I tell him? Should I tell him? Should yes. I tell him? Is it yes. my place? Yes. Is it my place? Or is that something that he needs to like understand and come to a realization of uh, himself? Glad. Yes. Breathe. As someone who is collectively a part of our group and collectively our respected friend. Mm-hmm. If you know something that could bring harm to one of us, it is actually your place to tell us. Right. But and here's the thing. What if him knowing makes it worse? And that's what happens. I just... It's not your fault if he makes it worse. Well... It's better to give him the information, allow him to process that in his own way, which, granted, we will have to be there for him and help him through with, because he is only a child. However... Yeah, that's the... Yeah, yeah. Yes. However, it is always better to know these things as early as possible. And it is better to learn these things when you are surrounded by a group of people who can help you and will support you through these things. Okay. Well, let's go break the news then, I guess. Hey, we'll do what we should. There's a lot of things in life that we have to do that we do not like. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> reminiscent of a Toshi noise, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it it was probably more like a... Like yeah, a cat. Yeah, 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 very much so. Very uh, feline-like, cat-like. Yep. It's okay. Uh, I'm with you. Fine. And sort of stands up and stalks off. Tail has a walk about. Tail okay. is is very much just like very very stiff and straight and kind of puffed up. <laughs> Not bad, joking. Just saying. Is it? As we walk back. I don't like. It's too tough. Or it's softer or raw. Yeah. It's too tough, and <laughs> they... Oh, the enjoyment 
is leaving it in your mouth while you salivate over it to break it down and just absorb all of those flavors of the meat, which is still essentially raw because it hasn't been cooked. It's just been dehydrated and whatever extra they add to it, the smoke flavor flowing through it. <laughs> Vor, it's kind of and sort of Zaf, Zaf just sort of kind of looks at your like mouth slightly agape like <laughs> and for the first time you notice that uh, they don't have normal like teeth teeth they have like fang teeth <laughs> very much like animalistic cat's teeth yeah. very needle sharp so, so Look, jerky would speaking not from my point of view I guess It's just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be. It's designed to be. Well, maybe. And, uh, they cut themselves off as, uh, as, uh, you guys walk back into the Rusty Dragon and back up to Solomon. And Saf sits back down and looks dead in your eye, Solomon. And then over at Toshi for help. <laughs> <laughs> So Toshi's still, still face, face down. down. Yeah, still face down. Like, mouth just, like, slightly past and yeah. biting on some jerky, just going, yeah. yes? I don't want to. Um, okay. What's so the we... issue? <sighs> we lost. Nope, we've lost. <laughs> we've lost. We've lost Solomon. Oh, no. As a gunshot rings out <laughs> and Solomon falls. <laughs> My what That's okay. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Um, <laughs> Solomon is now dead. Uh, yes. Toshi shot him in the back of the head. In the back of the head. Like, mm -hmm. sorry. Again. Um, it was a sneak attack. You failed. You. I, I rolled your. Uh, I rolled your fort. Did you say fort? It no. would be a coup de grace. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so Saf looks you dead in the eye, Solomon, and sort of leans in. And says, Solomon, I have some news for you, and I'm not sure how you're going to take this, but correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, hmm? just before you say anything. Yes. So, uh, Solomon, listen to me very clearly and concise. Like, I'm going to be concise. Whatever Sap is about to say, you need to process before you react. <laughs> Personally, I have troubles with that, but okay. I, I think no matter what, his reaction is going to be, oh. It's like you're about to tell me that someone broke my spear. Anyway, Sap, <sighs> lad, please continue. Yes. Um, well, Solomon, um, okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, right? You had a Normal childhood, very human. No weird abilities, no uh, magic, nothing like that. Very Ashwood tribe childhood. Yeah. No magic, no mm -hmm. nothing, nothing and overly then... special. But the... right, yes, yeah? yes, yes. Okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, and um, I don't know. Recently, ish. Uh, you found that maybe you could see in the dark where you shouldn't have been able to and possibly could wield the elements of like fire, lightning, cold, stuff like that through your bare hands. Uh, Saf. So, Seth, I'm just yes, going to point in my eyes. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to point um, my do eyes. Do you know what a Sully is, Solomon? And Saf is very much looking like they're about to bolt out the door. Do you know what a Suli is, Solomon? No, I don't. No? Okay. Do I'm you, you going know what... to get up and move around and just put my hand on <laughs> Saf's shoulder, like, as comforting as I can as be. As comforting as you can be, but it also definitely looks like you're stopping them running away. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> raise her and go, a genie can, that explains a lot. Yeah, basically. Um, so, right. so, so, so... Um, so Jin, or Genie, as, as Toshi so eloquently puts it, um, sometimes create a bloodline of their own. And, well, you know how some magic uses can 
uh, get their powers from angels or or demons or 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 or, or, or Pets, dragons. Like you. What? <laughs> Pets, like you. Sure. Um, <laughs> blows straight past that. Uh, <laughs> sure. Well, those those magic users are very often descendants of those dragons or or demons or angels, and it's a thing. Um, Suli are descendants of jinn or genies. You okay. are a Suli. You are not a human. I'm going to look at Varen. And, and the, the, the words from Varen, you must sit here and think about this very carefully. <laughs> Oh no. I'm gonna turn my head and look at Toshi. Mm-hmm. Toshi's but like sitting up and looking at yeah. at him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Toshi, can you translate? <laughs> what yeah. am I being told? You are not a human. You are more or less a partial human in a way. It's not quite that simple. No, it's not. But uh, so, so yeah. Um, well, if I may, uh, and Seth has calmed down like this much. Um, <laughs> if I may, uh, well, like I said before, these magic users, these arcane spellcasters, uh, have their attachment and get their magic from their descendant, be it angel, demon, dragon, whatever. Uh, you. So what's that was trying to say is that like your great 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 grandfather was a genie yes. from Jim. Yes. That. Well, they can go dormant. And that even has long. manifested certain magical powers in you. Yes. Such as well seeing in the dark when you humans normally can't. Well, the bloodline can actually stay dormant for even longer. Can. However, just, so, the sect of Solomon, yeah, yeah. the sect of Solomon is, uh, let's say, proactive in finding and acquiring. Possibly, uh, I'm not sure about acquiring. I'm probably acquiring members of this bloodline. And you, you mean uh, you? Yes, you. you, Solomon, are a member of this bloodline. So, those so people that more... attacked us were trying to abduct you. Specifically. Specifically you, yes. Murder the rest of us, maybe abduct you. Yes. Many oh, people have tried murdering me. They, they will fail once again. Funk. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you're telling me I'm not human. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm part genie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mostly. And I should be able to cast magic. No. No. Think of it as a bit how I do my things. You're still pulling on the weave just slightly differently. Do you understand where redheads come from? Solomon? Like people with red hair. I know I've got red hair. I know. I, and no, I never met anybody else with red hair like me. So, red hair, which is common as dwarves, just say. I'm uh, going <laughs> to gesture to my beard. Is my red beard. beard. Are you a red beard? Because my hair yeah. is bald. Bald hair, but, yeah. red beard. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> This this would never have occurred to Solomon no. because Solomon doesn't yet grow a beard. That his beard would also be red. Yes, <laughs> it would. Part of your what makes you who you are holds certain bits of information, I guess, um, that determines how you are. Being a person with red-coloured hair 
is one of those things that will just pop up every now and again. Like, the last four generations of your family can be completely free from red hair. And then you get red hair. Yep. This gin thing is a lot along the lines of that. People have magical powers with, are able to cast arcane spells with, if I'm understanding this correctly, with that bloodline as yes, such. Yes, yes. For other people, in that same sort of bloodline, it just manifests as abilities, much like a stone stance, and I'll just drop into a stone stance. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember... just something. Yeah, you remember when you did the shocking thing to... Ah, no, that was the fire any... thing to the goblins. Are, are there any candles on the table? Uh, yeah, probably. It's daytime, so I assume yeah. they're out. Yeah. And I'm going to say, yes, I do. And I'm going to attack the candle. Yeah, no, <laughs> and for sure. Uh, super easy, actually, and I'll even allow you to just sort of, like, one finger. And yeah, like light light the finger on fire, and then yeah, light the candle. That. And Saf is just like exactly that. Mm -hmm. It's not about being able to cast spells; it's about your innate ability. Yes. So you guys can't do that. Most uh, people no, can't no. do that. No. Well, most no. humans can't do that. Most anything can't do that. Uh, Dwarf, I... foxkin. You'd be surprised at what I can do. Light your Don't you still on face on the table? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The most you can do with the table, Toshi, is dance on it. Okay, so. I can, in fact, do a lot more than just dance. Toshi goes into like a weird accent at the end. <laughs> Toshi's tired. Someone's, someone's gonna be like, "Okay, so, um, and okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not human. I mean, I'm not the first not human person." Right. Correct. I mean, that's okay, an important. I, I, that's an important point for you to realize that. But okay. what we are saying is that there is a particular group of people that thinks you are a very important person for being who you are. And they wish to take you away from everything that you know. By force, for whatever reason. By plans. And... Goodbye, Sandpoint. And you're saying Bye, the guy friends. who attacked us was trying to take me away. That's right. a little bit scary. So, yes. Yes. I thought they were after you. No, <laughs> no they were not. They well. were after you. Wait, it's okay you to be have... scared of that. It's a you... scary thing. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Seth, why were you scared to tell me that? Oh, I mean. Um, uh, Can, if, do, if, do I have enough power, enough control over my power to use electricity to make Seth's fur stand on end? Uh, I could do that without magic. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, what is you? We are on. Thanks, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I I would reach out and <laughs> gently stroke Seth's arm, yeah, yeah. just to make all of yeah. her go with static. And Seth just like stiffens, just leans forward, looks you dead in the eye. Don't do that, please. If you mess up my hair before... today, Solomon, I swear. I can, only... I can only assume that's all you were scared of me 
making your hair stand on no, end because I'm electric. No, I just, I didn't know if you knew. I mean, I assumed you didn't. Um, but but I didn't need to be. I didn't want to be the one to change your entire perception on the world and your life. I just mean... wait till I start telling him about gender. <laughs> <laughs> and Solomon, who already knows about gender, is just going to completely ignore this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seth, I'm I'm me, and I'm I'm gonna be me. If if who I am, if what I am changes, who I am doesn't. I'm really glad to hear that, Solomon. And I'm gonna pick up a big piece of jerky and. <laughs> Varna's gonna smile and like nod at that. That's yeah. good shit. Solomon's gonna pick up a big, big piece of jerky and start stuffing his mouth. The whole, I've I've spoken enough now, and, and, and yeah. Amiko, the conversation's over. You can come over now. And it, yeah, Amiko sort of trots over. Thank God that was painful. You do realize I... the four of you are a train wreck, yes? I wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly, you expect that more out of an adventuring group. I used to be I, one, I be, be a part of one. Hey? I love how she knows about trains. Yeah. I have a real quick phone call, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, okay, go. So she just goes like, so. So. A button on your shirt. Uh, I don't have buttons on my shirt. Well, maybe you should get some. Oh, they would have popped by now. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Hoshi. Yes. Huh. Never mind. And, Could you um, please tell me? No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. And what? Amiko makes herself scarce very quickly. And roll me a perception check. Oh, no. Okay. Skills. Ooh. I will who at you until you tell me. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Nineteen. Did you even get a ten? <laughs> What's Toshi perceiving? Nothing. Perceiving. Uh, so Solomon is buried in his meal and just yeah, yeah. totally lost. No, definitely. Uh, Voren, you do see behind Toshi. Um, Raven. <laughs> So she hears from behind her, Toshiko Deverin, how dare you? And could you please describe your wife to everybody? Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. So she's about an inch taller than Toshi, so 5'3", blonde hair, half elven. I'm pretty sure I said she had, like, aqua eyes. Yeah, she's like a bit... piercing icy blue. I think is what, is what yeah, we just what we landed on. She's she's a, <laughs> she's a, a bit. bit paler than Toshi. Mm -hmm. She probably looks very pissed off right now, but in a I love this person, but fuck you. <laughs> very stone faced. Very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many other people are in the bar right now? <laughs> uh, at least a good. 18 to 20, not including Toshi you Toshi Panic Vanishes. <laughs> is that new? That's new, isn't it? Like, yes, it no, is. it's Toshi just bolts up, vanishes, and then you just see the uh, chair fall over. Yeah. <laughs> Toshiko, come back here this instant. How dare you run away like that? I'm do you have, here. and she's, she's yelling at the top of her voice, do you have any idea how worried I have been about you? Not even a letter or a note to tell me that you were gone. Where are you? Toshi's literally just 
probably at her feet on the ground, just like, hi. I need to look you in the eye right now. <laughs> Toshi just looks extremely tired. <laughs> And this is pretty normal for Toshi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you visible? Yes, very yeah. visible. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Amira looks at you, uh -huh. and she she is very very mad. Mm -hmm. However, you see her sort of compose herself <laughs> after her rant, and she she <laughs> turns to you and she says, "The least you could have done." told me couldn't have stopped all i ever asked for was honesty it's not something i got growing up i expected it from you oh <laughs> uh, i feel like shit and toshi just sort of flops onto their chest and face just uh Funk. No, 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 you, you're, you're going to stand up and talk to me. I can yes, talk. I will. I will. I've had a very long day, though, so... Mm -hmm. It's going to be longer. That means one of two times of year. I'm worried Toshi gets up slowly, as if Toshi spent the last 18 hours awake. Kind of deep. Uh, Mira is standing there, um, not quite seething, <laughs> but uh, definitely fuming? not not even not even fuming, composing herself, and uh -huh. just looking you dead in the eye. It's as if she hasn't noticed that anyone else in this bar is exists. <laughs> Is this a bad time to go up and introduce myself? <laughs> yes! <laughs> but it'll be really funny. It would be so hilarious. would Vorn go Don't... for the comedy of this? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, Vorn is not the comedic relief. Okay. That's Solomon. Toshi will swap over to Verissian, mm -hmm. which should be a language that she knows. Mm -hmm. I am... Very sorry, but oh god, there's a lot to explain. You don't need to explain anything, but why? Why did you run? Why did you leave? Uh, yeah, that's part of the explaining. Did you stop for a second? Goes. There are other questions that you should be asking. Yeah, let's answer them now. <sighs> I'm just going to interrupt. Yeah. Um, Toshi. Uh-huh. And... Mira. Mira. This is my wife. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. It's very nice to meet you. Varun Gilmo. Um, I feel like this is a very important conversation that the both of you need to have. But perhaps it should be done in private, rather than in the middle of the tavern. I'm just going to gesture to this and desk. She does sort of look around at this point. Tactful dwarf. How novel. Thank you. <laughs> and she says, Toshi? Yes. I'm assuming you have a room here. I do. Perhaps we should retire. Oh dear. Not she. Yes. Be honest with yourself and with your wife. And if she loves you, it will be okay. Just trust in the process. Okay? The worst part about this is that I spent the last 18 hours awake. Anyway, away we go. <laughs> Toshi. It'll be fine. Starts points towards the stairs and just starts heading there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Mira gestures. I'm going to 
dollars. We had a gesture for more beer. <laughs> When's the yeah. last time Toshi slept? Uh, as, uh, at this point, it was probably about 18 to 20 hours ago. She's been up for a nearly full 24 hours. Uh, since Amiko helped me with my head, is Amiko still there at the table? Nope. Amiko is <laughs> nowhere to be seen. Okay. I was just going to be like, Amiko, would you do that refreshing thing for Toshi? I think she needs the Ooh, help. <laughs> nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Toshi, you're on your own. Yep. <laughs> Toshi knows she's on her own. Yep. Toshi's just fucking tired. So you head upstairs and mm-hmm. enter your room. Uh, is it in a state of disrepair or is it nice and tidy? There's probably like a chair that's out of yep. place. Okay, that's probably like right everywhere. next. There's probably like a chair right next to the door. Where Toshi yep. would normally, yeah. Um, so Mira steps in and closes the door behind her, mm-hmm. and then just looks at you, head cocked to one side, just ever so slightly. Oh God! Okay, there's a chair over there, and I'll move mine over here. Let me just. Put a few things down. Uh, Toshi does like the I'm very tired, but I'm going to try to stay awake stretch. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's no empathy for Mira right now. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a reason why Toshi hasn't hugged her yet, it's because she knows she'll be whacked. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> So, any other questions about why it left? I haven't even got an answer to, as to any of it. Is it something I did? No, not at all. So, in my experience of life, people hate shape changers. Yes. I forgot to remind her she'd be kind to herself. <laughs> I expect a negative reaction out of almost everybody who finds out. Mostly from experience. There's a reason why I hit it for years. Mm-hmm. And sort of forgot about it once in a while. Mira, Mira knows, right? Yes, yeah, that's so. why Toshi yeah, okay. left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, um, so Mira sort of very, sitting very straight backed. Go on. Nice deep sigh. Yeah. You know about my adventures. I got out of them due to being more than what I appear. Understandable. But that will also get you killed very quickly. Yes. If that was that's more of a continue. Mm -hmm. So it is best to sometimes let things calm down especially when you know it's going to be an issue did i ever your reason believe that i didn't accept you for who you were no you assume that i wouldn't Think of it as a gnawing fear at the back of your mind that, in fact, in the end, the person that you love the most will be the one to kill you. I have no reason to expect it out of you, but it still bites at me. Hmm. Probably from what has happened in the past, that I've been stabbed in the back so many times. 
that it becomes harder and harder to completely trust somebody. But I trust you as much as I can every day. There's a reason why I never left you once until now. What changed? You found out. You saw. Something that will get me killed anywhere else. And how did I react? I never found out. I disappeared. But it is best and sometimes. Hmm? If I may. Yes. The biggest reason I'm mad at you right now isn't because mm -hmm. you ran away. Isn't because you left. Is because you took my agency away from me and you assumed what my reaction would be. You didn't allow me to have that reaction. You took that away from me. That's why I'm mad. Because if you had been honest with me, and if you had said, this is really intimidating for me, this is really hard for me, and this is really scary, I need some time to myself, I would have understood that. In fact, I would have encouraged you to leave and take some time for yourself and understand what this decision and what this revelation means for our relationship. But you took that opportunity away from me. That's why I'm... And... Though she has not made eye contact once, she's just been looking down at the table. Yeah. Though she look at me. So she will look up, may probably not make eye contact, but look somewhere else, <laughs> just like close will, enough. Mira, Mira will lean forward. I'm assuming you're sitting close enough to sort of oh, walk yeah. softly. Mira will reach forward and sort of grab your chin and sort of direct your eyes towards hers. It's pretty intimate. Mm -hmm. Do you look her in the eye? Yeah. <laughs> she says, Hoshi, you're my partner in, in life. You are the person I trust with everything. The person I love most in this world. From here on out, if we are going to continue, because your family would very much prefer that we didn't, if we are going to continue, I just need one thing for you. Mm -hmm. Honesty and transparency. Two things, I guess. <laughs> and she sort of just, like, taps her forehead to yours and just looks you, looks you in the eye. Can you do that for me? Yes. I can especially do the transparency if you didn't see. So she will smile slightly, hoping to get something. There is a very, very, very slight, just, just the, just a pull at the corner of the mouth. Hoshi, you're incorrigible. You're a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But you're my dream come true. You're the only person that ever that ever accepted me for who I was. Sits back and keeps eye contact with you and just says. I understand that there is some things probably best if you don't come home for a little while anyway. My father is very much on the warpath. Stand. <sighs> the silver tongue can't stop it, but you are being... not forgiven. Just no. I As never a... expected that. However, I guess I can begin to understand why you made the decision. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try and heal? Of course. Or not to. I. I. That's not an option. Of course it is. Saying no, it is not an option for me, at least. Running away was an option. 
telling me was mm -hmm. you could have chosen not to do both of those things everything in life is about your choices and the choices that you make what choices are you going to make are those choices going to allow us to stay in this relationship my choice yes is to stay my choice is to do the work Mine is two. And there's a genuine smile as she sort of relaxes. Really glad to Really glad. We do need to talk more. However, mm -hmm. I feel like I should meet your new friends. Should I not? <sighs> There's a little sadistic grin there. Well, do you at least wish to stay for the day, or are you planning on leaving? So I was planning on staying for a few days. Okay. Unless you had other plans. Currently, I don't do. have. Oh, I do. Yeah, you gotta oh, check out the mystery. I have things to do. So she just, just like arm on the table, hand across face and nose, just and slowly just starts screaming. Like, I have things to do. Well, what's the saying? Make hey while the sun shines. Introduce me to your friends. Have a nice day together. Yeah. Let's hope I can stay awake for another four hours, at least. I'm not sorry but, about that. And she stands up and opens the door and waits for you to... You've out. kept me up many nights, so I don't think you would care in the least. <laughs> there's, a, there's definitely a chuckle there. You've kept me up more than a few nights. I sure have. I refuse to apologize for that. I would refuse to accept your apology. <laughs> so. So. Shall we? Oh, first. You want to see a fun thing? When Toshi vamps door. into a fox. <laughs> there's, a, there's a moment. Because <laughs> what did Mira see? She saw the hybrid form, is that correct? Yes. Interesting. Ah. Very interesting. Ah. Just ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, definite uh, hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> definite uh, questioning of all of her choices that led to this moment. Um. <laughs> She does say, this This is going to take an adjustment period. Don't you vamps back into normal toes? She's mm -hmm. just like, yeah. Yeah. No, that trick took me like a month to get down. It's an adjustment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm willing to try. As long as we're honest with each other. From here on out. Honestly, that's the only thing that I lied about. Like, I would hope so. And that's the only thing that I've kept hidden from most people. And then those jagaloons down there got me to talk about it. God, it's like coming out again. <laughs> they got you to come out a second time, then they're not all bad. Uh, no, they're not. That uh, Mr. Fjallborg seems like a very nice man. And she opens the door and uh to head downstairs. So she looks at the and goes, I will be using you later. So she stumbles out. <laughs> Dramatically. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Stumble downstairs and uh Amiko has reappeared. <laughs> And is serving guests and magically. Oh, of course, everything she does is magical. Um, 
serving guests and serving drinks and uh lunch is starting to uh kick off in full swing well the server that you see is Mika. she's wonderful Miko. yes um toshi blinks and just like mm, let's and see if i can it remember wouldn't happen to be kajitsu would it it would huh interesting yeah Her no father, apparently longiki yeah. mm -hmm. hmm. how is he dead dead light oh. <laughs> and she has a brother dead so oh. also dead <laughs> Thanks oh no! Oh. Some Fire. things happened. Well, I've had a long few weeks. Yeah. How about how about you introduce me to your friends and catch me up? <sighs> gods! Oh gods! Uh, I should go check out by the chapel too. Uh... Just want to meet a kid that I saved later. I mean, <laughs> and watch guard it all night to kill just in case. Yeah, she's admitting that part for sure. Uh, uh, well, you're still in the tavern sure. with me, hey, Varen. Everyone, like everyone, well, is downstairs now, and I'm assuming like you're having they're having this conversation as they get to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, I'll I'll come and see the kid with you. Okay, so you've already met Varen. Toshi gestures over to Voren. Oh, to Toshi gestures over to Voren, but it's like halfway between Sav and Voren. As Toshi just goes, okay, who wants to be next? <laughs> okay, that one's Solomon. Toshi points at Sav and then goes, no, that one. My bad. <laughs> and then that one's Sav. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Mira Deverin. Oh, I am Toshi's wife. Yep. Solomon, who feels very awkward, he's going to pick up his barrel of onions and be like, Onions? <laughs> no, thank you. Excuse him, he's 16. It is he a pleasure to meet you. He is he somehow know. 16. Don't ask. I didn't even find out till what, like, four days ago? Yeah, I think it was about that. Yeah, yeah about four days ago you found out he was only 16. <laughs> right before the undead farm. Yes, just before. Yep. The uh, back was yesterday. Uh, then in that case it was just before the senatorium. <clears throat> so day before well, yesterday. During the senatorium. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's only been like a couple days. Yeah. 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 No, she's just like, yeah, no, it's been like a few days. It's been a long week. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um. So, Mira no, she just takes a seat. Oh, yeah. Mira takes so a seat and uh, uh -huh. just yeah. So she zones out for like a second, staring at the table. Goes, oh yeah, seat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's tired. What do you guys expect? Roll me a sense mode, you guys. Thank you. Is there any way for Solomon to tell, like, this person's personality, character, things that he's interested in, etc.? Holy uh, smokes! A conversation sense, will do that. Uh, the both of you, you definitely get the sense that Mira is enjoying the fact that Toshi is suffering just a little bit. Just wait, fair. wait. A little. She thinks Toshi's suffering. Toshi from, from tiredness. Toshi is right. Nobody knows what Toshi's doing. I'm not going to say a thing. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Amiko comes over and uh, says, um, "So, how can I help all of you tonight?" And she just sort of stands there waiting for someone to speak up. I really want to mess with Vorin, but not tonight. 
I don't recommend it. I he wasn't a bad mess with. I would just love to hear a story from him at least some point. Still, seems like it's, it's still daytime time, though, isn't it? I am enough beer, and he might. Yeah, it's it's like lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, and and we got plans this afternoon. Hinting <sighs> to to Toshi that. Uh, Toshi, we have things to do. <laughs> Toshi thunks head on table, just... <laughs> Nico, you know that uh, that I had a headache earlier? Yes, uh, yes. Toshi stayed up all night. Is there any way to help Toshi? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, and that I'm is... realising that was far beyond my purview. A headache is one thing. Fatigue of this level? Unfortunately, I don't have the restorative powers. Fair enough. If um, I did, I would make a mint out of this place, by the way. <laughs> I'm enough. more than happy to skip whatever this afternoon's business is until tomorrow. Just so you know. Uh, so Miko, I would love is... a oh, God. stein and some lunch, please. Of course. Uh, Toshi uh, will sit up, look over at Miko, look at Mira and go, What do you feel like you make the best? Best? Mm-hmm. The best? Oh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. If you want my best, I'll make it for you. That would be wondrous. Make it a Well... Best for everybody? And she sort of gestures yes. openly um, to the table. I owe you some money for the cask of onions. Um, as long I as I never that. see it again, we'll call it even. <laughs> I've seen you dip your hand into that multiple times. No, thank you. I don't need it. Why yeah, it's yours. Today, I mean, today why, hasn't gone to plan. <laughs> why do you have a cask of pickled onions in the first place? Oh, I'm so glad you I asked. I thought I was going to have to preserve a head. So she just looks at Mira. And Mira definitely just sort of... Okay. This is a, this is a group. <laughs> <laughs> that one needs therapy. A lot of therapy. Apparently. We all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, about, I was yeah. about to say, Mira definitely sort of... Same. <laughs> um, why did you need to think you... Why, uh, why did you need to preserve a head? Amiko saunters off. <laughs> Hi, Amiko. Oh, I'll, I'll be back. Toshi. <laughs> Mara, have, have you had something to eat or drink? Or... <laughs> Let me go and get you something and I'm just going to go to the bar and, and help. <laughs> Help. I'm going to make myself look like I'm helping. I'm probably uh -huh. going to get in the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, no, you're definitely in the way, and you definitely get, um, like, pushed away by Amiko very quickly. Go yep. sit down. Don't. <laughs> sit down. It's so awkward, though. Yeah, I know. And That's I just, why I'm, I'm not I'm over there. <laughs> Go sit in the awkward and stay there, because... If you if you are over here, everyone else is going to be over here, and then the awkwardness is going to be over here. Just keep it over. Uh, there. Toshi's okay. looking at that. You have. You, <laughs> it's a very quiet, hushed conversation, but like. Yeah. Toshi <laughs> is leans over to him and goes, "Stare at them. It'll make them feel awkward." If I stare at you, will it make you feel awkward? And she just sort of like bores a hole into your face with her eyes. I love it when you stare at me. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I guess Solomon will rejoin you guys at the table, and he'll keep volunteering Saf into conversation. So, any question for Solomon? He defers to Saf and like pushes Saf into conversation. <laughs> Are you guys really gonna make me sit here and talk to myself? Come on, no one wants yes. to see that. Yes. No one wants to see that. No. no one wants to see Mira and Saf have a conversation. It's not happening. Saf has gone. Temporarily mute, and why is my why why hello? Why is my thing so? I'm 
Okay, sure. I don't understand. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> technology is oh. fucking mint. So, Mira. Yes, dear. Staff was over in Verissia, or not Verissia, we are in Verissia. Staff was over in uh, Magnamar, over at the Mages College. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And uh, I hate you for this so much. <laughs> turns towards Saf and says, oh, interesting, um, would I... The chat is very happy with this, guys, I'm not. Um, looks over to Saf and says, oh, interesting, uh, would I, would I know who your, uh, sponsor was? And Saf turns back to Mira and says, uh, oh, I don't really, I hate I don't really know. Um, they were kind of one of the one of the recluse, more more reclusive type. And Mira says, "Oh, I see. It's, uh, one of the more right. scholarly inclined. We call them, I guess." So, y yes, definitely. Um, they focused more on ancient ancient <laughs> histories and and ancient peoples and and that kind of thing. Um, his name, his name was Theodore. I feel like we know Theodore. Who was an anthropologist? Or was it a different person? Definitely, definitely a different person. Um, because... Okay. Sorry, that Theodore is quite outgoing. Uh, Mira says, okay. Oh, no, 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 dear. That uh, Theo, Theo is not... Uh, the, Theo is definitely not the reclusive type. Um, he says, It is interesting, though, to know two Theos who are quite so different from each other and Saf says I I wouldn't know I only really ever um spoke to my sponsor we disagreed on things and is it now canon that Theo has popped over you from Aklon to Glorian who knows <laughs> Who knows? You've already met. You've already met half a dozen of my other characters that I've played before. So who knows? Um, so, uh, so no I'm not done. Rude. Well. Oh god! <laughs> you asked for this, so you have to deal with the consequences. Um, oh, so no, Mira turns. Back... Gonna... Hey. Yeah. No, you go. You. Mira, Mira, Mira turns back to uh to to Saf and says, "Oh, um." I've lost my train of thought. They continue their conversation, and, and it's very much small talk. However, Mira is very engaging, and Saf is immediately put at ease with her. <laughs> so what do they talk about? Uh, mostly mostly about um, what life at the Majors College is like, and uh, what Saf's sponsor was like, and Mira definitely tries to pick some of the details as to... What they what Ooh. they disagreed on, and uh -huh. uh, as as sort of Mira asks, like, so what made you leave the college? And Saf shuffles in in their in in, in their seat very uncomfortably and says, uh, "Let's say that my sponsor and I um, didn't really see eye to eye on the basic fundamentals of magic." And Mira sort of yeah. leans in, hey, new head cannon. Both theories are different, like the same theory, but at different points in the timeline. <laughs> Theo, Saf's sponsor, Theo, uh -huh. is a theory that went too far, broke magic too much, found out the worst possible situation for it, and has gone completely back on his original statement that well, like, magic is too rigid, and has traveled to a different dimension to teach other people to not do that. Mm -hmm. But then the theory that Toshi is the theory that's like, ooh, I can jump worlds and jumped and found out. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is so <laughs> cool. With that. Yep. That <laughs> exact same person. Honestly, that that honestly tracks for for that character. Yep. Uh, sure, canon. I'll allow it. <laughs> so stupid. Um. So yeah. So Mira asks, like, well. Tell me more, that seems fascinating. And uh, Saf says, well, uh, my sponsor is, is, is very rigid in the laws of magic, and uh, I tend to find them to be too restrictive. 
uh, you can, in fact, bend them very far before they break. Wait, political laws or physical or uh, physics arcane, style laws? Arcane laws. Like, uh, so, so like physics? So okay. Just, just in the way that the weave works. You can, yeah, it, so it, you can like mold physics. it. And, and Saf is very, you see, like, not, not quite like a thousand yard stare, but they're sort of, like, disassociating a little. Still speaking, <laughs> but like, like, kind of not all there, I guess. Um, not entirely present is a better way to, to put it. Um, and just sort of is, is speaking and oh. says, well, um, some practitioners of the arcane arts can bend and twist the weave to their, to their will. Others cannot. Uh, I tend to be one of the ones that can. My sponsor believes that this should not be. This is incredibly dangerous and can lead to any, any problems. In fact, he did theorize that this is why some ancient civilizations so you have, and she sort of snaps back into herself, uh, you have heard of Earthfall? thousands and thousands of years ago. Um, you would have heard of the Cataclysm at least. Um, oh, yeah. And she says, well, my sponsor believed that the ancient Aslanti were responsible for that because of their meddling with the weave and with magic and the, and the arcane laws. That's his belief. Not entirely mine. Interesting. Now you can talk. Very, very interesting. <laughs> anyway, Mira, how are you enjoying Sandpoint? Mira sort of is almost enraptured by Saf a little. Um, <laughs> and looks back towards you. I'm not sure if you're trying to talk, Solomon, but you're Mic is muted. Um, Oops. Oh, totally fair. <laughs> um, looks back at you, Toshi, and says, I find Sandpoint delightful. In fact, I very much like your friends. <laughs> and at that point, Amiko comes out with a very large... And, like, you feel this wave of heat sort of hit you in the side of the, in the, side of the face... A very very large like almost red hot stone mm -hmm. and uh sits it on the table and you do see that she is definitely not touching that <laughs> and uh she says be very careful as she you see out of out of the kitchen which is as always completely unmanned out of the kitchen <laughs> float about a dozen different dishes it is a huge spread. There, there are, there's meats of several different kinds. You see what looks to be some kind of venison, uh, poultry of some kind, definitely a fish that seems to shimmer with a rainbow kind of, uh, rainbow kind of sheen over, over the over the the flesh of it. Um, just a massive, massive stir fry bowl which smells incredible like spicy and sweet and slightly acidic mm -hmm. i'm making myself hungry um <laughs> the gigantic bowl of vegetables the gigantic stir fry is sat down in the center of the table and uh around is placed uh the the different the different types of meats there are um two two bowls of each kind Two, two red meat, two white meat, and um, two lots of seafood. So, as you dig in, uh, and a multitude of different like condiments, pickled, pickled onion, uh, ginger, garlic, roasted, uh, roasted shallots, that kind of stuff. Um, just 
all over the place. Different sources, different, like, bits and pieces of everything. It smells divine. And it is a feast and a half. <laughs> As you begin to dig in, uh, you the the stir fry is it, like I said, it's poisoned. It's, it's poisoned. Everybody, roll a fortitude save. If you can't hit a DC thirty, don't bother. <laughs> Glad you're here. There you go. Vorin is the only one that survives the AP, and you all are dead. Um, <laughs> So yes, yeah, so as you dig into the to the to the stir fry, it's um, salty and sweet and kind of spicy, but not in a very harsh way. Sort of like a, a warming spice instead of a instead of a painful spice. Um, <laughs> uh, as you as you as you dig into some of the some of the different meats, one is um, one is. One is one is in fact venison. The other is seems to be some kind of reptilian. It looked like it looked like red meat, but it's it is incredibly flavorful, and the meat itself is unflavored. However, it is spicy in and of itself. There is duck, which is roasted to perfection. There is also something that again doesn't seem to have any flavoring but seems to chill your mouth as you eat it. Uh, and the seafood, one is uh, a local carp, which is that one that has that rainbow shimmer. The other, excuse me, the other is a uh, pink crab legs. Except the crab legs are like this big. Oh, like spider crab legs. They're huge. Uh, at least at least a foot and a half long, and at least about five or six inches sort of around minimum. Actually, no, it's probably probably more like more like ten inches round. Um, there's not a huge amount of meat in them. It's mostly like shell, but it does hinge open and uh, sort of scooped out, and it has what can only be described as a sweet seafood flavor mm -hmm. um just melts in your mouth and it's kind of kind of buttery as well um really really nice and amigo as everything is sort of placed down she says if you need anything let me know i'll be back in a moment and well do you want to at least say <laughs> hello to my wife i'll be back in a moment oh okay and... Toshi will look. Oh yeah. No, what were you gonna say? Toshi will look sleepily over the party, yeah. and the facade fades as she smiles, and everyone goes. I enjoy the facade of being sleepy and tired for all of you. Anyway, huh? food is wonderful. You what you think? It. I'm really tired after twenty hours. That's that's child's play. Well, you're not an adult. Uh, Solomon, <laughs> everyone, just, everyone just roll me a perception check. It's not hard. <laughs> nice, of course. Uh, as Amiko comes back and puts down a small glass uh, face down in front of you, face down in front of each person and has quite a large uh what looks like a gourd of some kind pulls a cork out and uh says this meal is not uh the both of you re definitely see mira gigantic eye roll at toshi just ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um so amiko comes back and says this meal is not complete without my specialty. And uh, goes around the table, flipping a glass and pouring each of you a full glass, and, but warning you as she goes, just wait a minute, wait one minute. And then once everyone has a glass, she pours herself one and looks around and the, the tavern is packed. 
absolutely, positively packed to the rafters. And she says a toast to the heroes of Sandpoint and their assorted family. May you live in perpetuity forever and your deeds never go forgotten. And she slams the bottom of the glass onto the table and then shots it back and then puts it down, um, like, hand, like, claw over the top. And then she just watches all of you. Toshi and Mira, will... yeah, Mira, Mira, oh. Mira does the same. Well, what I was going to do is Toshi was going to grab hers and hold her arm out for Mira to intertwine. Okay, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Mira, Mira will do so. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Saf picks hers up. Looks. Then she gives her a thumbs up, two thumbs up, <laughs> and then does the same thing. <laughs> Solomon would have done it straight after. Oh yeah, me, for but... sure, for sure. I'm assuming Boren joined in as well, out of obligation, if nothing else. Out of obligation, yeah. if nothing else. Yeah. Amiko catches your eye and definitely gives you a gives you a sly grin. Uh, it burns! Like, proper, proper burns your entire inside of your mouth, all the way down your throat. You can feel it still, like, right past your sternum, and you feel it warm your entire stomach and burn! But once the burn fades, the entire meal, the flavours are richer, and not because that was nearly... 100% 100% alcohol. Um, but the flavors are richer. The entire experience, you don't even recognize that you're in an inn full of 30 plus people. You have an amazing time. Solomon uh, Suleiman does, in fact, get heartburn <laughs> from the pickled onions. Um, and Amiko nods to you all and says, if you need anything, you know where I am. And she heads back to the bar and you have an amazing meal. And for the next 48 hours, mm -hmm. each of you gets a plus one on saving throws and uh, attack rolls. Is this a particular buff? Uh, I I'll I will put it in the Rune Lords. I'll put it in our chat and Discord. Um, yeah, it's a it's a thing. I have I have a list of <laughs> like, I have a list of things that it gives you. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll put the list in there. But yeah, basically, it's plus one to all saves. Plus one. It's basically sickness in reverse. Plus one to pretty much everything except damage. Um, Wait. Yeah. So. You know this is the second party you've had here, Toshi? God. And Mira I guess. I wasn't, I wasn't invited to eat to the first one. Shame. Well, the first one was me coming out to these ones. I guess this one is yours. Honestly, I like this one a little bit better. We got alcohol this time. And you only like it because you're not the center of attention. However much you pretend to like to be the center of attention. I always like to be the center of your attention. Hold out. <laughs> well, keep going the way you are and you always will be. <laughs> so. Does your smile sort of sway and go? So. Important, important question. Where do you wish to stay? Well, I do need to go see my cousin. Mm hmm However, we're already set up here. Stay here. Wonderful. So she doesn't know if has any spare rooms. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, I know her room is very spacious. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> No, no, Toshi was actually expecting yeah, that. That's why no, Toshi sure. asked. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Mira, Mira turns to you and says, Don't be ridiculous. Of course, I'll stay with you. 
Okay. Are you sure, Miko? I'm sure <laughs> that is the last I will hear of it. <laughs> Toshi will give her a teasing smile. Yeah. Fair enough. And I oh. think... Go ahead. Are you going to say something, Tom? Well, today, today has been an interesting day. It certainly has. I think right there is a really good place to leave it for this week. Uh, we didn't have a break, however, we aren't we aren't going to go for the full three hours. Um, next week, same time, next week, uh, we will be running on when on Wednesdays Australian Eastern Standard Time from here on out. I think um, we did sort of play with the idea of possibly doing uh, pre-recorded uh sessions but i think if everyone can be available most wednesdays we'll just do wednesdays instead how do you guys feel about that you think i have a life that works for me wednesday works yeah well, i'm i mean yeah, it works yeah brilliant <laughs> i can i can be i can be available on on pretty much any any afternoon as long as it's after three o'clock so um cool so thank you so much for hanging out guys i'm i had a great time uh hopefully next week uh we will actually make our way to the misgivings and see what that has in store for the party how are you guys feeling about that okay so the thing i do with my characters is they exist within a mind space as i'm playing them and toshi is just framing their head up against the table going I thought I had more time. I thought I had more time. I thought I had Ooh. more time. I know you thought you had more time. <laughs> I was not going to give it to you. Uh, and feeling there's... Pretty, hmm? Feeling pretty excited for uh, going out and, and, and having some action, because uh, I don't think Solomon is the sitting around thinking type. <laughs> yeah, I get that, not, for sure. Not, not you know... He's he's the scheming type, but not the thinking type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's this discussion that I have to have with not Adam. Yeah, that's it's going to be fun. I'm mm. uh, very excited for that discussion. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make you talk to yourself again. <laughs> I enjoy doing that. You did wonderful. Thanks. I I didn't hate it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I no, it was good. I, I loved asking you for a barrel of something pickled and seeing you guys just like, what's what what why <laughs> what's going on? Toshi needs to talk to you about subtlety. Is that saying Solid something or? coming from Toshi? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Talk, talk to Solomon about subtlety? subtlety. Yes. Hey, I need a pickle. Don't ask what for. That's not very subtle. <laughs> That's not very subtle. It is suspicious as fuck. Yes, it's something Toshi would definitely do. Toshi just doesn't want you to do what she does. <laughs> I didn't need a pickle. I needed pickling solution and a barrel. And also, Toshi will need to tell you how to preserve a head better. I mean, to be Actually, fair, so to be fair, <laughs> not a bad, like, not terrible. It'll keep for at least a couple days extra. <laughs> yeah, but then you have an odd tasting head. You don't want an odd tasting head. Um, <laughs> Solomon, just so you know, in Solomon's room, he does have um, War Chief, War Chief Rip Nuggets head. <laughs> sure does. You might want to get that taxidermid. It is starting to smell. And Toshi can smell it from her room, and oh, she's yeah. hating every moment. Yeah. Only Toshi's I, out. I, Mira's fine. I, Toshi's not. Oh, I, I Thanks so much for watching, guys. Solomon I will be in the chat for a while. Um, 